Hi, this is Taryn Grome, editor of Pharma Voice. We met with numerous inspirational thought leaders at this year's DIA annual conference as part of our Editors Take video series. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. In this episode, Taryn meets with Peter Benton, President and Chief Operating Officer, Worldwide Clinical Trials. Peter, it's so good to see you again, and welcome to Boston and DIA 2018. Thank you, Taryn. It's uh, great to be back here in Boston, and uh, fantastic to be here at DIA again. Peter, how has the CRO industry evolved in the last 12 months? You know, you know. I think we're we're seeing significant consolidation. So, a large CROs are merging together, and as as that happens, we're finding a lot of customers feel like they're kind of trapped in this consolidation game. So, we're seeing a lot of movement and people looking for alternative solutions, out of the box thinking, more flexibility, more customer service. And so, I, I think that's the big thing we're seeing today in the CRO space. And so, as the CRO industry can continues to consolidate through mergers and acquisitions. It's following almost the same pattern of the model of the pharma companies and their sponsors. Is this a sustainable model for all these mergers and acquisitions? Yeah, no, I, I think I think unfortunately the model is sustainable. I, I think the, you know, again, in, in large pharma, they're a combination of smaller companies that they've acquired and they continue to get big and bigger and bigger. As we know, the overall healthcare market continues to grow. There's more treatments, more diseases, lots of new therapies to bring to market. But I think we've seen the continued consolidation in large pharma. Again, all of the innovation comes from small, emerging, and mid-sized customers and then gets acquired by larger companies. And I think it's very similar in the CRO space. I think all of the innovation and new ideas and, and you know, worldwide we try and be uncommon and be different. Uh, what we're finding is that's what customers are looking for. But again, I think as companies get bigger and bigger, whether it be a CRO or not, the only choice they have is to go acquire more companies, the only way they can grow successfully. So given all that, what should sponsors look for in a CRO partner? Yeah, I think I think what CR, what uh, sponsors should look for in a CRO, I, I think they need trust. I think they truly need that partnership. Now, I think everyone's a little skittish, you know. They've been burned by some of the consolidation, some of the mergers, and kind of been left hanging a couple times. What they really need to look for is they need that customer service. They need someone who's willing to be flexible and understand their needs. You've got to have therapeutic expertise. You really need to just focus on a few therapeutic areas and be really good at what you do. Uh, trying to be a CRO and a one size fits all and do everything is not a good idea. So again, I think focused on a couple therapeutic areas, outstanding customer service, you know, great customer attention, and and being a little more flexible. Each company is a little bit different. They want to do it a different way, and so I think they need a combination of those things to be successful. Building on that, how has worldwide clinical trials evolved in the last 12 months, both internally and externally? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we've continued to grow. We've continued to add uh, new customers to our mix. Again, staying true to our focus of therapeutic expertise, scientific, uh, you know, knowledge. Uh, I, I think we're doing an even better job of kind of customer service. We provided executive sponsors. Myself and all of my team are all part of the project teams that are sponsors. So we all meet with our customers on a quarterly basis. Uh, we have their phone numbers. We have their contact info. They have ours. And so I think just a much more personalized touch to customers. I think we're seeing that different. Uh, I think the other thing is we found is people that are coming to Worldwide to join us as employees are doing it because it's a career, right? They do it because of what we do. They do it for the patients. They do it for the diseases we're treating. Uh, you know, there's lots of jobs in the world, lots of things you can do to make money. People come to Worldwide because they want to make a difference. And I think trying to make a difference and take care of patients and support the families around them I and mean, I think that's pretty uncommon, and I think that's what's uh, driving our growth. That's wonderful. Um, at Farmer Voice, we're a big fan of collaboration, and we've seen worldwide clinical trials partner with industry leaders this year, such as Kinder Farm, <clears throat> DataVent, and Continuum. How will these partnerships impact clients? Yeah, I think those are all, you know, three very interesting and different different companies. Uh, Kinder Farm is, uh, they've got some just world-class expertise in pediatrics. And again, you know, talking about the mission of what we do and why we do what we do, um, you know, small children with diseases is a really important area to focus. And so Kinder Farm really has some absolutely fantastic expertise around 
uh, pediatrics and children and understanding what it's like for them to be in a trial. And so being able to take that expertise and that knowledge combined with our global capabilities has been really successful in our, in our partnership together. Uh, data Vance, another one where, again, they've got this, you know, huge amount of clinical data and real-world data sets and actually looking at, you know, all of the, you know, there's lots of people with data warehouses and information out there, and it just doesn't seem to make a difference. I think Data Vance a little bit different. I think they've got real-world, real-world data, real information that can be really helpful in thinking about the design of a trial, bringing a treatment to market, and being more successful. So, again, combining our experience and our knowledge and scientific uh, uh, expertise with their data sets is a, is a very interesting area to focus on. And then Continuum is the, uh, is the last one. Uh, you know, we've known of Jeff Trotter and his experience in real world evidence for a long time. Again, Jeff's well known in the industry and, you know, I, this is probably the, one of the first names that comes to mind when you think about real world evidence. And so, you know, as we continue to focus on CNS, cardiometabolic, in, immune mediated inflammatory disorders, orphan and rare diseases, we decided it was time to look beyond that and do some other things. And so, you know, the opportunity presented ourselves. Jeff's got a fantastic team, some expertise. We've got the global capability and the footprint. And so I think Continuum Plus Worldwide has really built this worldwide evidence brand into something very successful. And I think we'll see a lot of growth in, the, in those real-world outcomes type studies. That's wonderful. I want to circle back to a point you made a minute ago about the culture of Worldwide. And Considering the company's growth, how are you maintaining that culture, um, and how is it changing? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, how do we maintain the culture uh, within the organization? You know, we've focused the last couple of years on kind of our mission and vision, and, and we have a uh, we have a big strategy map that we use in all of our all hands meetings whenever we're talking about projects and how it fits in with what we're doing as an organization. Um, you know, we refer back to that strategy map. We talk about how we want to make a difference in patient lives. You know, our goal is to be the best mid-size CRO in the world, and so everything we do ties back to that. Uh, that mission of what we need to do and what we need to accomplish ties back to that. Uh, we have a big picture of a mountain. We're always talking about climbing the mountain together as a team, and again, it's not about me. It's not about any individual at the company. It's all of us climbing that mountain together uh, to get to the top, to become the most successful best uh, mid-sized CRO in the world. Uh, but I think on top of that, we're also adding in, you know, the values and understanding what kind of people do we want to be at Worldwide, right? We're looking for people that are, uh, you know, have integrity, that are, are willing to be part of this uncommon team. So I think continue to focus on that has been really successful at kind of building that sustainable culture. And I would manage in as part of that strategy map, you have a vision for what the future is for worldwide clinical trials. What is that and how are you going to move the needle forward? Yeah, I think, um, you know, in this continuing consolidation, and we, we believe that will continue for some time, I think uh, all of the emerging to mid-sized customers are really looking for someone different. They're looking for someone to truly be their partner. I think they're all a little nervous, a little skittish about, you know, experiences they've had in the past and being sold one thing and delivered something else. I, I think as we continue just to uh, deliver, deliver the skills and capabilities that we have for our trials and continue to sell that message, and, but, you know, but be there with them as a partner. Again, building those relationships early on in the study, meeting with them face-to-face, -face, talking to our customers on a regular basis, that's what's going to set us apart. That, that uncommon CRO, the world's best mid-sized CRO, you know, with an organization of 1,600 people now who really care about what they do. They care about the patients. They care about the families of the patients. They care about the work that we're doing. Peter, I want to thank you so much yeah. for joining us again for our Editors Take video programs. I always enjoy our conversations, and I'm always inspired by your insights, so thank you. Thank you, Taryn. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. For more information on this topic, visit our Thought Leaders website. For more Editors Take videos from the DIA Annual Conference, visit www.pharmavoice.com. Thanks for joining us.